Hello everyone, this is Heming from OpenText APJ Global Technical Support Team for ADM Products. In today's UFT1 sharing, I'm going to talk about something really basic, but often overlooked when working with UFT1, creating a GUI test. As simple as it seems, there are things you can do to increase your efficiency when working with UFT1. Before creating a test, some preparation can save you a lot of time moving forward. First of all, understand your application under test, AUT for short. We've often heard customers saying, my application is built with Oracle DB, JavaScript, and Java, when the actual AUT is a web application. Always remember that UFT1 GUI testing in general works with the application UI, so only GUI technologies matter. Backend technologies are irrelevant in UFT1 GUI testing. Secondly, as UFT often needs to hook into applications to automate them, it could be possible that you will need to start UFT first in order to properly work with the AUT. We have provided detailed instructions as prerequisite under each of the add-in section in the online help. Please take a look at them beforehand to avoid unnecessary hiccups. UFT1 supports all kinds of GUI technologies, each supported by a separate add-in. Upon launching UFT1, by default, you will see the add-in manager, which lists the add-ins that are currently installed. For optimal performance and stability, always remember to select the necessary add-ins only. This is also why we mentioned understanding your application in the previous slide. In case you're not seeing the add-in manager, go to Tools, Options, General tab, and select Startup option and check the checkbox for Display Adding Manager on Startup. It is pretty straightforward past Adding Manager. Click the new button in the toolbar. In the pop-up dialog, select GUI as the test type, enter preferred test name, and select where the test is stored, and then click Create. A blank new test opens, showing the test flow in the canvas and another tab for a blank action named Action 1. Many people may underestimate the importance of knowing the UI components. Let's take a look at the main components in a UFT1 GUI test. On the left, we have Solution Explorer. There you can find all documents in the test and its associated files, including object repository, function libraries, cold actions, etc. Upper middle section is the document pane. By default, you will be seeing the canvas, which displays the test flow and gives you a general idea of how the test runs through. If you switch to action one tab, then you will be seeing the editor. This is where your test scripts are placed. You will be spending most of your time here creating and modifying your test scripts. Below the document pane is the section to display output, active screen, and so on. This is also where data pane is located. The test data used in your test is stored here. On the right, you will see the properties pane. It displays the properties of the document that you selected in the Solution Explorer. So the elements displayed here can vary according to what you select. This is typically where you can change the associated add-ins of a test, add or remove parameters for the test or its actions. Now that we have completed creating the test and understand what the UI components are about, we can continue to use other fantastic UFT1 features to generate the test scripts. Please su subscribe and stay tuned for further sessions on that topic. Thank you very much for watching.